Another key part of personalizing iOS is about keeping you in control of your privacy. And iOS 18 gives you even more ways to control who can see your apps, how you share your contacts, and how you connect to accessories. Let's start with apps. Sometimes we hand our device to someone so they can look at a photo or play a game, but we want peace of mind that they can't get into sensitive areas of our phone. So this year, we're giving you a new way to protect sensitive apps and the information inside them by letting you lock an app. When you choose to lock an app, if someone else tries to tap it, they will be required to authenticate using Face ID, Touch ID, or your passcode. And information from inside the app won't appear in other places across the system, like in search and notifications, so others won't inadvertently see sensitive information. There may also be occasions when you want to hide an app that you don't want others to know is installed on your device. For example, say you use a professional grade spatial capture app to track your different hairstyles. I mean, that's just good science, right? Well, anyway, say you use this app, but you don't want anyone else to know. Well, now you can hide it and put it in a new hidden apps folder that's locked. We're also adding new ways to control how you share information with apps, starting with contacts. Today, when you give an app access to your contacts, it can learn about all the people you've added over time. In iOS 18, we're putting you in control by letting you decide which contacts an app can see. We're also putting you in control when you pair accessories. An app may ask for Bluetooth and local network access, but also gain visibility to all the other devices on your network, from your computers and TVs to your door locks and blood pressure monitor. Now, developers can offer you an intuitive new way to pair your accessories that keeps your devices private and makes pairing seamless.